Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, the Caporal, bringing you the Nerf Dark Zone Max Outlaw. Yes. So I finally got this darn thing. It only cost me $20 at Target. It was on sale with tax and all that. So it was on sale at Target. And again, I want to own every hammer action blaster, but this is not a... um. Nerf blasters, so y'all can understand that. And if you all got my hint that I posted on YouTube, the reason why I the reason why I use the whole Pale Rider thing is that in Pale Rider, Preacher actually has a gun, that opens up, not like this or anything, it actually opens up differently. I believe it's a um, Cult army, and he has spare, spare, um, spare, um, cylinders on his belt. He just loads the gun in, and there's actually a scene in the movie where you see him do that. He pulls out one from his belt, and actually replaces it to reload it, then to get rid of to deal with the marshal. And that movie is supposed to be kind of a um. I believe it's supposed to be sequel to Hang 'em High. I am not 100% sure. It's part of a trilogy with um, High Plains Drifter. But I don't know if the trilogy is supposed to be that it's a... Um, they're just three, three movies that Clint Eastwood made about someone who's come back from the dead. Or they're actually supposed to be like one after the other. So... Let's talk about, let's get into the review. So, this blaster came with the um, safety goggles, a spare cylinder, 12 darts, and all that. That's what you get for $30 usually, but I got it for $20, so I'm going to review it at a pr price range of $20. FPS is very good. All above 100 I did get some mess-ups, but those were because the dart was hitting the side of the chronograph. So, there's that. But 110 FPS on average. Accessories, um, I'm, I'm going to say it's good because we do need the protective eyewear. The goggles fit me pretty well. And you get the extra cylinder. And what's really nice about this blaster, too, is that you actually get a little loading port for your half darts. See that groove there? It's for that. Just load it in and you get... Rotated. it. There's actually something that is found in um, certain revolvers. You're supposed to load them in. It's the other way around, though. You put them in like that and everything. Also comes with a safety. I, a revolver with a safety. I don't know if that's an actual thing. So, sling attachment point? None. I do believe you could get a holster for it. But it doesn't. But it doesn't have a point for that, so that's a bad comfort. So there's a weird thing with this blaster in that the grip is very comfortable, works pretty well. I think they actually might have based this off an actual firearm. That's what it feels like to me. But the hammer is like I really gotta put my hand out in there, and it's really strong, and it does that. It's also loud. Yeah, so you can't even fan it. You technically can, but it's not optimal. So yeah, even doing it like this because your hand—it's like a 1911. I did get one of those. All that. So comfort—it's like it is comfortable, but it's like the hammer is a problem. But I get it's because of the mechanism and all that, so I'm going to say it's okay. It's a bit of a compromise thing. Looks, I think this thing looks okay, in all honesty. I think, like, it, it has that cool look to me. It looks more like a Desert Eagle, to be honest. It has a cool look to it. I just don't like that it's red and white. It feels like a candy cane. And it's probably throwing me off. If it was a different color scheme, it would be like, black and green or orange or black and orange or something like that it probably wouldn't bother me but 
I'm going to say it looks good. Stands out. Profile. I will not paint this black. Tactical points. It does have a rail, but nothing I own fits on that rail. And I wouldn't use anything. I don't even think there is a laser sight for the Dark John has. So, and tactical rails and revolvers are kind of weird. So it kind of gives me a Desert Eagle vibe, like a Glock vibe. Now, rockets you can't take. Can't take Mega. Internally, I don't know what this thing looks like. Modability, why would you mod it? Though you could get third-party stuff from Dark Zone. Well, not third-party, it's from Dark Zone to make it better. So, like, the, I assume more stuff. So, I put it good in modability. Practicality, it shoots at 110. It's a pistol that shoots at 110 that is, like, compared to the hammer shot. Like, okay, very moddable. You can have it shoot at, like, 100 FPS. Same, similar links, if you look at that. But this one is longer. Thick-wise, they are kind of similar, but the hammer shot's a little thicker. Pulling back the trigger. Obviously, hammer shot's easier, but if you mod out a hammer shot, it will be harder. And this has six shots that you could take out the cylinder with a little bit of force, but it's not easy. You could front load it, which is just the five shots you front load. But again, you can mod this to have eight. So there's that. But this has a better grip. And so then you're getting into like sweet revenge territory and all that. So which one really is better? And I want to say the outlaw is is probably more practical than the hammer shot, but then I realized, well, a Nerf War, your opponent might be using full links. This can't use full links. The hammer shot can. And again, you can mod the hammer shot to use, to perform better and to fire more darts. And you don't have to go through the trouble of actually like plopping this out. I'm putting in another cylinder. Well, with the, um, oh, my eyes, give me a second. My balaclava, I got a new balaclava and I'm still kind of getting used to it. Yes, people, I record my videos at a balaclava. Oh, my eyes, give me a second. A little bit of fiber in there, so. The mouth hole in this one isn't that good, but anyway, back to the thing. So you don't have to be all cumbersome, but you also don't have to like front load it and all that. Let's see, that's going to do that. But it does come with safety goggles, so there you go. That's a bonus. So practicality wise, it's yes, it's good, but I'm I'm going to say it's okay. In all honesty, because again, it's you could get the sweet revenge in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles skin for half the price and then you could just go grab third-party stuff and mod it or you could just get this blaster for $30 still pretty good and all that but it's like there is that disadvantage where say if you're picking up darts off the battlefield your opponent's probably not going to use half-length darts but I want to say for $20 this thing is still a good price Results one, two, three, four, five. So we got five on good, five on bad, three on okay. So, and it's only bad because it can't do the things other blasters do, but it is a pistol, so it's not supposed to. Even the hammer shot can't do that. So it's really more like three bad, five good. So with that being said, it's actually a good blaster by my own rules and all that. It's just a little like, it, but it's a dart zone blaster. So it, it doesn't have the same things that the nerf blasters do. Tactical rail is a bit different and all that stuff. So it is a buy 
for $20 on sale to buy. $30 I think is a bit too pricey, that's why I never bought one. But $20, perfectly fine. And now, I assuming that you can get like holders for these to put on your belt, you could cosplay as the Preacher from Pale Rider. It's a good movie, I should review that movie. And all that. It's essentially, um, we're getting Clint Eastwood. It's a, I think it's also implied he might be the man with no name. But it would make sense to some extent that he is. But it, he, he's a ghost. Essentially a ghost or an avenging angel has come to save a, a group of prospectors. Pretty cool movie because you could watch it as both a Western like, and you can watch both as a ghost movie. Like a ghost story. And all that. So... Thank you all very much, ladies and gentlemen. You all have you all have a nice day and a Merry Christmas. Bye bye. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Advertisement. Buy my book, The Epic of Cassius Crossroads at authorhouse.com. Have a nice day. Bye bye.